Hi, Iker. It's Miss Priscilla. We figured out a way to get in contact with our students since we can't do it over the phone right now. With everything going on, Miss Priscilla has to stay home, and you have to stay home as well from uh, school, and I have to stay home from work. But uh, eventually, you know, when everything gets better, we'll be able to talk again through the phone. But for now, we're going to go ahead and um, just enjoy the story while I read it to you. And you listen to it on your side, okay? And you can read along with me um, on your side. And um, look at the pictures and look at uh, Simon's face, which is the character in the, in the, in the I was going to say the movie, in the story that I'm going to read to you. And um, look at the color of his head and his coat and his umbrella and what's going on around him when um, the pictures change, okay? And then I'll just read you some questions at the end of it so you can go ahead and answer them like we did before. So I'm going to start reading the story to you. It starts saying, Simon Loves the Rain. It's written by Anne Harth. That's the author of the book. Simon Loves the Rain. He wears his red boots and a yellow hat. He pulls on his green coat. Take your umbrella. Simon, mom says, okay, says Simon, as he grabs his purple umbrella. The rain comes down, pitter, pitter, pitter. Now look at the green words and then repeat them, okay? Rain, R-A-I-N. The rain comes down, pitter, pitter, pitter. That's the sounds of the drops when they hit the floor. Simon jumps in puddles. Splish, splish, splish. Say that red word again, okay? Jumps. It's an action word. It's what he's doing. He's jumping. The rain comes down harder. Patter, patter, patter. There's that raw word again. Rain. R-A-I-N. Say it with me. All right, Iker? Rain. R A. I N. Simon jumps in deeper puddles. Splash, splash, splash. There's that word in red again. What is it? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Now it's your turn to say it. If you said jumps, very good. Try it again. Jumps. It's an action word. It's what he's doing. The rain is heavy. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Now read the red and the green. The rain is heavy. Simon jumps in puddles. Water fills his boots. Slosh, slosh, slosh. That means he has too much water in his boots and his socks are wet. That doesn't feel comfortable, does it, Iker? I don't think so. And read those words in green and red. Jumps. Your turn. Fills. Now you. Repeat after me. Fills. His boots. Water fills his boots. Simon runs inside. Mom looks at Simon. What's the word in green? Runs. Say it with Miss Priscilla. Runs. Very good, Iker. Then it says, Mom looks at Simon. What's in red? Your turn. You say it. Looks at. Very good. His hat drips. His coat drips. His boots are full of water. You want to say that with me? His hat drips. His coat drips. His boots are full of water. Simon holds up his umbrella. Look, Mom, I took my umbrella.
now I have some questions for you. Question number one, what color is Simon's umbrella? I'm sure you can go back and start the story again, just in case you don't remember. You just take notes, okay? You could write the questions down too. What color is the umbrella? Number two, what type of day is it outside in the story, Iker? Was it sunny? Was it cloudy? Was it rainy? Was it wet? How would you describe the day in your words? Number three, what does mom give Simon? What did mom give Simon for him to take outside with him? Do you remember? And number four, what color is Simon's hat? A couple of colors going on there because his umbrella was one color, his hat was one color, his coat was one color. All pretty colors, but if you can't remember, just go back and listen to the story again, okay? And when I say something and it's, I say it's your turn, and I just stay silent, then it's your turn for you to say it, okay? So this is the end of the story and the questions, and I'll record another one for you in a couple of days so you can have something to listen to. Um, at least every week I'll try to go ahead and do it, maybe one or two. And soon we'll be talking over the phone again. You take great care of yourself. You stay safe. Help around the house and do your chores. Uh, do some homework. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Alrighty. You have a great night. Bye, Iker. Talk to you soon.